inside this box is the secret to all the magic in the world. But I can't show you just yet. First, first I need to find someone I can trust. Who among you is trustworthy? When someone says they're trustworthy, it's not always the case. I am not, I'm not going to choose you because people might accuse me of setting this up beforehand, deciding who's going to help out first. I'm going to let random decide. That's the name of my ball, random. I want to toss the ball out to you folks. Whoever catches the ball, you will not keep the ball. You want to toss it to a second person. If you are the second person to catch the ball, you will not keep the ball. You will throw it to someone else. If you are the third person to catch the ball or kick it up off the floor, which will probably be the case, you will be the lucky person to get a special surprise. Are we excited? Yes? Yeah. Oh, thank you. All right, let's give it a try. One. Thank you. <laughs> Gustavo, how old are you? I'm 17 years old. 17 years old. When I was your age, I was the same age. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Thank you. Gustavo, I have a gift for you. Will you please hold out your hands like this? You're going to hang on to the box. You're not going to open it just yet, Gustavo. Before you open it, we're going to open this at the end of the presentation but I needed someone I could trust to guard the box because if we just waited until the end and then I opened the box myself, you will all accuse me of cheating. Now I know, Gustavo, you wouldn't accuse me of cheating, right? Never, thank you. But some people might, which is why we have you helping out. Now, I'm not gonna leave you empty-handed. Uh, first, we're going to perform a little card trick for you. I'm gonna have you think of any card. Before you think of a car though, Gustavo, whenever I ask someone to think of a car, I've been doing magic for over 20 years, people always say, most of the time, one of two cards. They say either the Ace of Spades or the Queen of Hearts. These are the two emotional cards, Gustavo. Right? The Ace of Spades is the card of death. The Queen of Hearts is the card of love. They're the emotional cards, so of course people are going to think of these two cards. That's why uh, it, it's devastating when you combine these two emotions, right? So instead of having you just think of a card, because you might think of one of the obvious ones, you're just going to point to one of these cards. Just point to the back with one finger, yeah? Now, are you happy with that choice? W would you like to change your mind? This is important that you, all, that you have that choice. You may take your card. Do not show me, but you can show everyone else what the card is. Make sure everyone around you can see what it is. And Gustavo, you may place your card back. It's okay, I've seen this trick before. <laughs> Gustavo, I don't even need the cards. <laughs> well, because I already know what card you picked. <laughs> But I knew before you even picked the card what it was going to be. Now this sounds impossible because, mind you, anyone could have caught the ball. It was you. You could have, you could have pointed to any card. You could have changed your mind, but you decided on that one. On my way over here today, I was driving. And as I was driving, I was all over the road, clearly. Because I was distracted. Because I was thinking about Gustavo. 
I was thinking about you, and I thought I knew what card you were going to pick. A card that you didn't even know you were going to pick because you didn't know you were going to catch the ball. So when I parked my car in the parking lot, before I got out of the car, I took a different deck of cards. I took that card that I thought you were going to pick out of the deck. I placed it inside of an envelope. I attached a piece of tape to the envelope, and I attached it underneath of the box that you've been holding this whole time. Please remove that envelope from underneath the box. Gustavo, do you believe that your card is inside that envelope? <laughs> With so much conviction. <laughs> well, if you believe, you don't even have to open it then, right? For everyone else's sake. <laughs> Please take out the card. What card did you choose? You didn't look at the card! Here lies the first lesson. Communication. Very important to leadership. Well, you folks saw the card. What card did he choose? The Three of Clovers. Please show everyone what that card is. Gustavo, ladies and gentlemen. You may hold on to the box and return to your seat. Please guard the box, make sure no one gets in, and make sure no one gets out. One more hand for Gustavo. That was fantastic. You know, whenever people see me perform magic, they, they always ask me, they say, Jonas, how did you do that? <clears throat> they always ask me, Jonas, how did you do that? <laughs> That was almost in unison, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I can't tell you. <laughs> but what I will tell you is something far more valuable. When I was a little boy, growing up, my biggest, most wildest dream was to one day become a magician. And my parents were so proud. <laughs> but they supported me, so my mom uh, made a cape for me, my father gave me a gentleman's top hat. And I would go out in the yard, I would find sticks in the yard, and I would run around the neighborhood yelling, Abracadabra. Now my neighbors, they thought I was crazy, which was probably true. But I had the last laugh when one day, the person I was pretending to be became the person that I am. Because on that day, I became a magician. It was June 11th, 1996, and I was just 12 years old, and I performed my first magic show. And I knew then that I was a magician because not only did I just do my first magic show, but I also had a business card with my name on it and it said magician. That was proof enough for me. <laughs> so it was around that time that I started to stumble upon something and it's what I've come to understand is this. It's that life is a lot like magic. Because like performing a magic trick, it's easy to perform a magic trick. And it's just as easy to live the life of your dreams once you know the steps that you need to take. It's easy to perform magic when you know the steps you need to take. And it's easy to achieve your life goals when you know the steps that you need to take. And it's those steps that I'm going to reveal to you today. I'm going to share with you the three things that I have used to achieve success, not only in my professional life as a magician, but in my personal life as well. Along the way, I'm going to pose some questions to you folks to encourage you to reflect on how you can use these same steps and use them in your own life to engage your magic and live the life of your dreams. Does that sound good? You're so polite. <laughs> like, yes. just as easily fail at doing what you don't want to do. So why waste any time living anything less than who you truly are? Before I go, I think it's time to reveal the secret to all the magic in the world. Gustavo, where are you? There he is. Do you still have the box? Will you please bring that up here, please? Let's give Gustavo a nice hand.
Gustavo, did anyone open that box? Did you try to open the box? You may come right this way. I knew I could trust you. Now, I, I don't want to touch the box. Turn it to face towards you and turn the dials to 5, 2, 1, the ones that are going to be in the middle. But don't open it just yet. Let's just remind you of what you're going to find in here. Inside this box is the secret to all the magic in the world. However, it's also the cause of all world suffering. Inside is also the solution to that, to that suffering. Now it's 5 to 1. Did you turn it to 5 to 1? I chose that because that was the day that I graduated from college. It took me 15 years, but just a few months ago I finally did it. Uh, so that's the special combination. You're going to open the box in a moment, but you're not going to take out what you find. You're just going to look at what you see inside. You're going to think about what you're looking at, at what's staring back at you. You may open it now. Just bring that bar to the, uh, le uh, to the right. Uh, this one here, bring that. All right, now, do not take it up. Just open it now. Open it up. And think about what you see right now. Think about who you see. Do you recognize who you see? He does recognize. Who do you see inside that box, Gustavo? You see who? Gustavo Medina is inside the box. Be yes! He's such a little man. It's because you are your own worst enemy, Gustavo. And yet, you're also your own best friend. You can take out what it is and show everyone what it is and, and hold it up. We'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> what is this, Gustavo? Oh, oh yeah, okay, so on the back it has my little quote. But it's a mirror, right? It's a mirror. <laughs> There's one more thing, <laughs> Gustavo, inside the box. Please take it out and show everyone what it is. All right. what, what is that? It's a lemon. It's, it's a lemon and nothing else inside other than a towel, right? Yeah. Gustavo, the lemon is the secret. But it's not the lemon itself. It's what the lemon represents. The lemon is whatever you'd rather not face. The lemon is your obstacle. But here's the deepest secret, right? It, it, like you, it's the famous say, when life gives you lemons, what do you do? You get a new life, right? Or, or make lemonade, whatever the case may be. But G Gustavo, here's the deepest secret that nobody knows. And here is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. Whatever your lemon may be is precisely what you must face. May I? Because when you cut to the very core of your problems, you will discover that it's there waiting for you. This whole time, what you've been seeking, <laughs> please hold on to the lemon, please hold on lemon. Before, before you take that up, please tell everyone what you see inside the lemon. It's a uh, small folded up playing card. A small <laughs> folded up card. <laughs> Gustavo, it could have been anyone who caught the ball. But it was you the whole time. You could have thought of any car. You thought of a car, but I told you you could change your mind. You had the opportunity. It was you the entire time. You know what that card is. As long as you remember what it was, you may take it out. You may put the lemon down. Unroll that card. It is. What is that card, Gustavo?